Um, this is a fiber optics communication system and uh, it was my last topic in last lecture. So I already explained it to you, optical fiber through which light propagates from this transmitter to the receiver. Okay, so my last uh, lecture was about this optical fiber only, like uh, what are different types of optical fiber, what are different concepts like total internal reflection, numerical aperture, cone of acceptance. Okay, uh, so the whole lecture was for this channel only. My today's topic is about this light sources, which is just the last block of your transmitter section. Okay, so there are basically two, two light sources available. One is light emitting diodes and another is laser, which are mostly used in optical communication system. Okay, so before this light source, the information will be in the form of electrical signals and uh, this source will convert that electrical signals into light so that it can be fed to optical fiber. So our today's topic will be for this light sources. So contents for today's topic will be like I will introduce optical sources to you. So in today's lecture we will understand what is the meaning of coherent, what is the meaning of incoherent sources. Next we will discuss how light emission takes place. Then we will come to optical sources like light emitting diode. We will discuss its construction, how it works and its internal structure. Then we will cover laser and its internal structure and how it works. In the first slide, I want to just explain you like what are these optical sources okay so an optical sources is anything which convert electrical signal into an optical signal okay for example it can be a tube light in your home okay uh, it can be a laser it can be an led anything it can be to which you fed electrical signal and it produced light so that all are called as optical sources Optical sources or optical emitters operates on the idea that electromagnetic energy can only appear in discrete amount called as quanta. So these quanta are called photons. So there are packets of light called as photon. Energy in one photon varies directly with the frequency. So basically there are two types of optical sources which are used in communication. One is light emitting diodes and another is laser diodes. So the first concept which is related to optical sources is coherence and incoherence. For some sources we use the term coherent and for another we use the term incoherent. Now coherent light is the light in which change of phase within the beam occurs for all the photon at the same time. Like you can see that these are some photons which are traveling like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are 5 photons which are traveling from here to here. Okay, And phase change for all is at the same time. So laser is the best example of your coherent sources. Okay. On the other side, in incoherent sources, it they emit light with frequent and random changes of phase between photons. You can see that this one is first photon, this one is second, third and fourth. Now their phase change is random. You cannot say that, that there is some relationship between phase change of these photons. Okay. So LED and your uh, light bulbs in home, light bulbs in cars and all households so that are that is a good example for incoherent sources okay so there is no abrupt phase change within the beam light produced by lasers is both coherent and monochromatic and of one color only so this is about coherent sources and incoherent sources now another concept is emission now, one is spontaneous emission. Now, we know that 
all the atoms used to be in the lower energy state which is this one it until they are excited by some external energy and once they gain energy then they move to the higher energy states okay like this is the e3 is the higher energy state and uh, this state is unstable so they cannot stay here for long time and uh, after some time they lose their energy and they comes to a next lower state okay and uh, then when they come to the lower energy state then emission of photons takes place okay so when they gain energy this is called absorption and when they release energy this is called emission okay so when they comes down to lower energy state without the influence of any other photon then this process is called as spontaneous emission okay this is a random emission you cannot predict that when it will takes place okay so that's why it is called spontaneous so when an atom gain extra energy then it goes to excited state these are the excited states so it returned to its original lower state with releasing the absorbed energy and this is called spontaneous emission so this spontaneous emission exists in leds but another process is there which is called as stimulated emission so in in this case also the electrons atoms gain energy and they move to e3 state okay if when they are at e3 state if a photon incident on that atoms at that time then they will release electrons and if the energy of electron that will be released is equal to the is equal to the photon which incidents on that atom then another photon will be released from that atom so this is called as stimulated emission because it is it is happening because of when a photon incident on the atom in higher energy state so i think you can differentiate in both in this it will be spontaneous any time when this will lose energy or when this will emit electron but in this case this is because of the incident photon of wavelength lambda so when a photon incident on an excited atom and if the excited atom can drop an electron by releasing the energy equal to the incident photon then a photon will be emitted from the excited atom which has the same energy as incident photon so this is stimulated emission so laser has the principle of stimulated emission okay and uh, led has the principle of spontaneous emission so when we will discussing laser diode and leds then we will use these two terms as it is and you should understand what is spontaneous emission and what is stimulated emission now let us come to the optical sources now so first is led light emitting diode so L led is a type of p n junction diode okay but in p n junction diode you already know that ki when holes and electrons combine with each other then energy released okay a uh, junction is formed but in leds the same will happen there will be a p type material there will be an n type material so when they will combine to each other then energy will be released in the form of light rather than your heat or electrical signal so instead of generating heat at the p junction p junction light is generated and passes through an opening led can be visible spectrum or it can be a ir led infrared led i think you have used both okay so why we use leds because they have very low cost you can get it uh, i think in 1 uh, rupee or less they have low power okay they have a broad spectral width what does it mean ki spectrum is broad you can uh, like fed more and more signals to it if you we are using it for communication can be modulated to several 100 megahertz you can further increase its spectrum to several 100 megahertz so a wide bandwidth is there 
So this is the internal structure of a light emitting diode. It has a p-type gallium arsenide, gallium arsenide and uh, n-type al gallium arsenide. Okay, aluminium gallium arsenide. And this is the junction between p and n-type. Okay, this is the opening on the surface of this light emitting diode. Okay, so and this is cathode, this is anode, and this is the insulating layer which insulates it from anode. So when you supply a voltage from cathode to the anode context to this LED, then what will happen is electrons from N side and holes from P side they will come near to each other if it is in forward bias then due to that combination light will produce and this opening will allow light to come out and here is the opening this opening has been closed over here so that light can be focused to one area only okay so this is how it works uh, now i will show you an animation which will make this topic very clear to you just wait I hope this is now very much clear to you that how LED works. And uh, there was a point in that that uh, energy release tells us about the frequency. Okay, so because we know that E is equal to H nu, where nu is the frequency, E is the energy, and H is the Planck's constant. Okay, so you can find out the frequency of that light or wavelength of that light. Now, this is the like in that LED, the light was coming out from the surface. So that is called surface emitting LED. Okay. So next is laser. Laser, full form of it is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Okay. Uh, so it, its principle is stimulated emissions. Now this is also have N-type aluminum gallium arsenide. P type aluminum gallium arsenide. The difference will be here is that the principle will be stimulated emission, okay, rather than spontaneous emission. So this forms of P, I, and N. Now, this one is which I have discussed that uh, before emission, the electrons will jump to high energy state when a photon is incident on it then it comes to lower energy state releasing two photons so let me show you a video for this also for laser also so that you can have a better understanding Light 
So I hope uh, this is very much clear to you now that how it works. So we have already discussed this. So this is about the light amplification. There are two main uh, fundamentals. One is light amplification and another is population inversion. So this is also a very important topic. Like in uh, lasers, so once stimulated emission takes place, we do not get light out of the laser at that instant. Before that, light is amplified. Like on both the sides, there are mirrors. Okay. On one side, 99% reflective mirror and on other side, 100% reflective mirror. So photons of light will, uh, ref will be reflected from this reflective surface and from this reflective surface. And then another photons of light will be generated. So, intensity of light inside this assembly will keep on increasing and because this is 99% reflective mirror, so when the amplification of light is much higher, then this will leak out from this end. 